let's talk about space and rhetorical context in a slightly different way. Let me give you another definition of rhetorical context to expand what we talked about when we talked about Space Cat. And then I'm going to give you another way to visualize how all of these things fit together. Rhetorical context is the social, political, economic, et cetera, attitudes that exist when a piece is written. So what's going on in the world when this text was created? This context is going to impact the author's choices, the topics they choose to write about, the ways they choose to write about them. All of that is going to be influenced by context. And you're saying, well, okay, that's great. We already talked about context, so what? Let's look at a graphic organizer. If you're a little bit more of a visual thinker, this can help you out when you're trying to think about Space Cat. The big box is the rhetorical context, and we're going to talk about more that in more detail in just a moment. But within this rhetorical context lives your speaker, your audience, your purpose, and the exigence. The speaker's purpose and their audience is also going to influence the genre that they choose. Is it a speech? Is it a tweet? Is it a impassioned TikTok? All of that would be part of the genre. So speaker purpose, audience, and exigence live within the context. So what are some of the things specifically that are part of rhetorical context? Where you live is part of your rhetorical context. If you live in a city as opposed to a more rural area, if you live in a Western state as opposed to an Eastern state, that's part of the context. Political views of the people around you that you have, that's part of the context. Religion and religious influences. Are you in a part of the country that has a specific, um, or that is influenced by one religion more than another? Are you religious? Are you not religious? Are the people that you're speaking to religious? That's part of the context. Financial class, are you wealthy or are you poor? Race and ethnicity is a huge part of context, which can also overlap with where you live, which can be influenced by your financial class. All of these things interact. Gender is part of rhetorical context. What are the conversations being had about gender in your particular locale? Is it wartime or is it peacetime? If you read things written during World War II, it's going to be very, very different than if you read something that was written during the 1960s. Social movements and influences. This, I think, is particularly relevant to more modern texts, though that is not always the case. There are plenty of historical texts as well that are influenced by social movements. Technology. What's the technology level? What's the attitude towards technology? That's part of the context. Education level. Are you in a place where lots of people are educated? Is the education level lower? Are you speaking to an audience that is highly educated, college level or higher? It's going to impact the way you speak to those people. Age also makes a difference. You speak to people differently who are younger than you than to people who are older than you. And that is part of your context as well. Social attitudes. And this isn't necessarily the same as social movements, though the two can be interact or interconnected. But what are attitudes towards um, working mothers? What are attitudes towards teenagers in general? Occupation is also part of the context. Are you employed? Are the people you are talking to employed? And time period, of course, is a large part of context. Are you looking at a contemporary text that was written in the last 10 years? Are you looking at a historical text that was written 200 years ago? That context is going to impact the choices that the author makes and impact the way they write a particular text. So what should you remember about context moving forward? One, it can change your interpretation of a text because we tend to assume that everybody views the world the same way that we do, and that's not true. So you need to be aware that your context can change your interpretation of a text. And if that's the case, it may skew the meaning of the text. It may not be what the author intended, but what you are reading into it. You also need to consider context in your own writing. 
you are looking at the world from a very particular viewpoint just because of who you are and the experiences you've had and where you live and what's going on in the world around you. So you need to think about that context as you are creating things as well. And finally, and most importantly, you can't read everything from a modern perspective. That is what we have a tendency as human beings to do. We assume that our viewpoint is the only correct viewpoint. And so when we look at texts, we assume, aha, my way of looking at things is the only way. And therefore, anybody who expresses ideas different than mine is wrong. That is not the case. Allow me to provide you with an example. If you look at text written in the 1830s in the United States, you are likely to find a lot of texts that are pro-slavery, particularly if you are looking at a text that was written in the South. Does that mean that every single person who expresses the viewpoint that yes, we should be able to enslave peoples of other races is an evil person. No, that's what we want to assume because from our modern perspective, slavery is wrong. But for people at the time, for people in that context, that was the social norm. That was the law in a lot of places. So we have to be very careful not to assume that everybody is a sexist, everybody is a racist, everybody is a narcissist, everybody is abusive, because that's what our modern take on what they're saying tells us is true. You must consider the context. So before you get angry about something, Look at the context. What was normal for the time period? Before you assume that, oh, this is the only way, right way, consider who said it. What was their political leaning? What was their education level? Context influences the way texts are written, but we shouldn't allow our personal context to impact the way we interpret a text. We need to interpret the text in the context in which it was produced. So keep that in mind going forward. That's why it's so important to be able to identify the context of a piece.